Ahoy! Here's the story. The Moment case for iPhone 13 Pro has been postponed for shipment once again, and now it's pushed back till the end of December. And I really want to film with variable anti filter with this phone and other lenses and all that. Now, not in the future, I want to use it now. Well, I remembered that Small Rig makes cages for smartphones. So I reached out to them to see if by any chance Small Rig cage is ready for iPhone 13 Pro. All I wanted was this cage. And that's just the beginning. I had no idea what I'm gonna get myself into. I had no idea what's coming on my head. <laughs> well, I'm going to change plans in today's video. And I'm gonna take this bare phone, naked phone, and I'm going to build full smartphone filmmaking kit, smartphone vlogging kit, the whole rig. This is gonna be very interesting. And just for those wondering, they also make small rig cages for other phones as well. I've got some good news in today's video and I unfortunately have some bad news as well and I might need little help from you. And for the new faces, welcome. My name is Zdeň Kadarla. This channel is all about photography and video tutorials, tech reviews, camera challenges, and hidden giveaways. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. Bear phone is right here. By the way, for those wondering, I'm not being paid for this, nor I'm being told what to say. I'm gonna be pretty open and honest, and I'm gonna share my opinion about all these items. Thank you, Small Rick, for providing all the items. All of it is listed below the video in a video description. I am going to start with the base, and that would be this Small Rick cage. The material is aluminum alloy. Inside it's a soft layer from silica gel, which makes it a very nice tight fit from the phone, and it is shock absorbent. So it's gonna be well protected. If you're gonna drop the phone, like you're not gonna drop the phone, right? You don't wanna drop the phone. Then it should really be able to take the hit, no problem, should protect it. Also, the lenses will be protected quite well. Even though this is made of metal, it's actually pretty light. It weighs only 87 grams. This is how you open the cage. Let's slip in the phone and lock it. You have all access to all ports, all buttons are functioning. Each side gives you many options to attach all kinds of accessories, such as lights, handles, microphones, and tripods. In the back is soft rubber. Nothing is blocking your lenses. Here you can attach M-mount lenses or 17 millimeters threaded lenses. The phone gets certainly bigger and a little bit heavier, and it's looking already heavy duty. It's certainly made for filmmaking, but I'm eager to take it actually to a store somewhere and pull it out of my purse and see what kind of looks I'm gonna get. I'm going to show options for both handheld filmmaking and also gimbal filmmaking, but first, Let's start with handheld option. And a lot of people who prefer handheld filmmaking, like Maddie, right? To make filmmaking more comfortable, you can add a side handle, also made from aluminum alloy. This has also options for mounting more accessories on the top. You can choose how you wanna put it together, just loosen the screws right here, and you can slide it up and down, you can move it here and then tighten. Then you attach it to the cage. I mounted it here and that's what works for me. And then you just walk around and this is the bare minimum. You can start vlogging, already recording yourself. If you need to stop and record something scenic, you can just put your other hand here for more stable shots. And this is still just a bare minimum. Let's add more. Sound is equally important as picture, and many beginners don't really concentrate on sound. All they want is great video. 
Could I keep a secret? I was one of them too. I didn't really care about the sound. All I wanted is great a video. And then my subscribers very quickly straightened me up. So they included actually a microphone in this kit, Seymour Wave S1 Lite. It's a cardioid condenser microphone. I'm going to display all specs on the screen. The microphone comes with a suspension mount, foam windscreen, furry windshield, 3.5 millimeters camera cable, and another cable is for smartphones. Carrying bag is also included, and of course, user manual. For iPhone, you also need to buy this little audio adapter. The microphone is actually quite small. I'm gonna play you the sound from this microphone a little bit later in this video. There are two options for mounting this microphone. One would be directly mounting it to the cage right here. If you are filming yourself, you will point it towards you. And if you record something in that direction and you want the sound, you will obviously mount the microphone the opposite way. Now, the second option would be adding another accessory, which is this mini top handle. It's got cold shoe mount with anti-off button so you can attach a microphone here or LED light. You can use this also for mirrorless camera like the Canon M6 Mark II I have. I use smaller cage on it as well so I can attach it right there. This front part is accessory mount for something like monitor holder. I'm going to add this to my smartphone and mount the microphone on top. Now the setup is starting to get a little bit uh, bigger here and you've got a good picture, you've got good sound and it's already looking quite serious. You can be walking around and comfortably blogging and recording your daily life, but this is far from finished. They also include it in this kit, small rig, tabletop, mini tripod with panoramic ball head. Also, aluminium alloy built, equipped with standard Swiss Arca plate. Working height is 113 millimeters. This is also for small mirrorless cameras. Ball head, maximum payload is two kilograms. Tripod without the ball head can handle up to 20 kilograms. Let's attach it to the smartphone cage. Got bigger, once again. This is quite comfortable actually for vlogging. This is pretty good. You can use it like that, the tripod. And if you're gonna be filming something scenic where you need to stabilize it further, then you will put your hand here and there. And I can already see that I have a lot more control. It's definitely more stabilized. So if I'm gonna be filming handheld, this could definitely work. But that's not finished yet. If you're gonna be filming in the dark, you will need a light. Yeah, they also included that. Seymour Vibe P96 LED Video Light. Color temperature is between 2700 and 6500 Kelvin. Color rendering index is 95. Maximum power consumption is 5 Watt. Battery capacity is 2200 milliampere hour. It has 96 lamp beads and it can be operated in temperatures ranging minus 10 to 50 degrees Celsius. It's very easy to use. Just press the power button here and then you will be turning this wheel to make it stronger or to make it lighter. And then if you press and now you turn, you make that light either cooler or warmer. That's all. Let's move the microphone from the top handle to other spot and let's add the light to the top. Let's throw an amorphic lens on this and here's your ultimate handheld vlogging filming kit or rack. So this is the uh, handheld filmmaking, smartphone filmmaking rig, this whole setup. And congratulations, this is, uh, this is it. You're gonna be walking like this around for the rest of your life with the phone in. Now, all you have to do, if you want your phone to unplug the microphone, boom, open the cage and just nicely slide your phone out. And you leave this at home and it's ready for next time you need it. And then when you need it, you just slide in the phone like this and it is nice and tight fit. Close the cage, attach the microphone, and 
You are ready to rock. Today was supposed to be my day off, but when you look outside and it's like this, everything is covered beautifully white, you have to grab the camera and you just need to go. So today I'm testing out this whole setup. I'm actually recording myself on a smartphone and with Sony a7S III. So you will see me two times, just so you get behind the scenes a little bit of how this vlogging setup looks like. I'm taking you a little bit on a tour, showing you this place in our town. And right now I'm actually filming with the Filmic Pro app, Double Take, and I'm filming everything was ahead of me and also filming myself not walking very softly right now <laughs> because I just want to get there quick it's cold this is the look you are going to get if you're gonna be using this little setup and here is our gorgeous place here which is locked right now that was a very cool handheld filmmaking kit now as I was taking everything apart just to leave this cage on the phone, I actually thought to myself, wow, when I was little, when I was growing up, we had a black and white TV at home. We were watching black and white TV at home. And look where we are now these days. Just mind blowing. So now I am in my original plan, only having the cage on a smartphone. I'm a gimbal person, so I wanted the cage so I can attach lenses and filters and mount it on a gimbal and go film. Now I got three gimbals here just to let you know that the total weight of the phone with the small rig cage right now is 303 grams and that's without any VND filters, CPL filters, without any lenses, nothing like that. So I know that we are all extremely excited about the new Zhiyun Smooth 5 gimbal and you are all asking me non-stop when I'm going to be publishing in-depth review on this gimbal. I am checking daily and the buttons are still not working with the ZY Kemi app. It's still not connected. It's not finished. So we have to wait a little bit longer. We just need to be patient. Once it's all finished and working properly, then I will do in-depth review. Unfortunately, we cannot use Zoom Smooth 5 gimbal with this small rig cage and a smartphone because the maximum payload is 300 grams and this is already exceeding without any lenses. This is 303 grams, this setup. For that gimbal, if you want to use lenses and VND filters, you do need to wait for the Moment Thin case, which is going to be shipped out at the end of December. So, I have two other gimbals, which are a lot stronger and they can handle this small rig cage, iPhone 13 Pro, extra lenses and filters. First gimbal I have here, which is stronger and has maximum payload 900 grams, would be Moza Mini P. That one has also dedicated Moza Genie app for smartphone filmmaking. However, you can absolutely film in other apps such as Filmic Pro, Native Camera app, ProTake or Moment app, for example. You can switch the gimbal modes directly on the gimbal. It's a little bit time consuming to balance the gimbal and every time you're going to change something like add filter or add lens, you have to rebalance it again. There is one more suitable gimbal, which I have here literally only for two days and that would be Zhiyun Crane M3. This one is very tiny but can handle lots. Maximum payload is 720 grams. And for those wondering, yes, I will make in-depth review on that gimbal, but I need two weeks because I need to really study it first and connect it to my Canon and Sony and do a whole bunch of tests. So this one is the same thing as the Muta Mini P. The setup requires rebalancing after any change as well. I'm finding that the balancing was a little bit easier than on Monza Mini P and is a little bit smoother. However, it does not have a dedicated app for smartphone filmmaking. This gimbal has ZY Play app, which is more for mirrorless cameras. So you would use this gimbal to stabilize your footage, but you would be filming in other apps. Again, Filmic Pro, ProTake, Moment, or Native Camera app. Lenses and filters are next, and 
that's where I ran into a little bit of a trouble. Lenses are very straightforward. Absolutely no issue there. I have here an amorphic lens with an ND filter. I have a tele lens where I can add filter as well. Even a macro. And I do have filter for that as well. Those fit very nicely with the smaller cage. I ran into a trouble with filters. I use 52 millimeters variable ND filters and CPL filters. And for that, I'm actually using the filter adapter, which is made by Moondog Labs. It's this one, it's the version one, the original version one. They are not making it anymore. They have now different version. I placed it on the iPhone 13 Pro and sadly I realized that this area here is not cut out enough because the cameras are bigger on iPhone 13 Pro. I was using this with iPhone 12 Pro, it was working no problem. So I'm seeing it um, as I'm filming with ultra wide angle lens. So it's not good solution for iPhone 13 Pro. On top of it, there is a rubber on the smaller cage right here. So the fit is extremely tight so tight that I had the trouble to take it off. So I ordered the new version of this Moondog Lab filter adapter. Hopefully it's going to get here within the next few hours. Hopefully I can test it. If it is going to work, I'm going to place it in the description below the video. I'm going to make notes there as well. I searched online. Otherwise I looked everywhere and I could not really find another filter adapter for 52 millimeters. Uh, filters. So if there's one of you or someone out there who is watching this video and actually has an idea or knows uh, what could work, feel free to comment it below the video in a comment section. Just the name and the brand. Don't post links there because those are disabled. It's not going to go through. Besides the filter problem I'm facing right now, not the filter problem, but the filter adapter I'm facing right now. Otherwise, I think this is a very, very cool setup and definitely very doable, heavy duty, very high quality. Someone who loves big rigs and wants to build a monster kit like that, I think would really appreciate this. Again, everything shown in this video is linked below in the video description. Give it a thumbs up if you found this video interesting and informative. Subscribe for more. If you have any questions, comments and the solution, please leave it below in a comment section and I'll see you my friends in the next video. Ciao. Ahoy.